Hey, it's Candice over here at Torklift, and behind me I've got a 2024 Airstream Bambi. Today we got a really cool job that we have. Um, so we are actually creating a custom hitch for this vehicle, and it's going to go on the rear right here. So our customer has a really special cargo tray that they want to install on their Airstream, and what it's going to take is a custom hitch that we're going to design while our customer waits. So we'll check in on this job throughout the day. All right, so behind me, I've got Johnny, and he is looking underneath this Airstream Bambi because um, he's assessing the frame to make sure that he finds the best connection points for the most safety when it comes to building this custom hitch for this Airstream. So, I mean, now we're on a plate design, and so things that we have to consider are gonna be ground clearance. We have the nose of this trailer pointed down to give us a little more space here, but when he's riding level, that's gonna drop this a lot closer to the ground, and so we have to consider how far up now based on my inspection there's actually structure back here that we can't utilize for the hitch because it's already being utilized for the trailer so we're going to have to keep our cross tube up as high and tight as possible we should be able to stay above here but then we also have to consider where the frame is now there's an excess hole right under here for where the drains in the trailer itself but i can feel where the frame is and i need to make sure that i can get from here all the way across and maintain good strength coming from the middle about three feet out. So now we're gonna go over what the plane needs to look like and see if we can't hit all of those benchmarks to make sure that it's strong enough, it's high enough, and aesthetically it looks clean enough. So next, Johnny's going to take what seems like a basic doodle and he's going to take that doodle and he's gonna turn it into an actual computerized design. All right, the next step is Johnny's going to actually take that doodle that he made and he's going to design the frame plates for the hitch. That's how the magic happens. So behind me is the water jet. And so up next, Johnny is actually going to submerge the sheet of metal into this water. And then a water jet, a jet of water that is so strong is actually going to pierce the metal and cut out the side plates for this hitch. Check it out. Now Johnny's actually going to take the side plates that he cut on the water jet and he's going to put them into this uh, tooling that's going to actually bend it so that the side plates can be installed on the Airstream. And so what happens is this is going to come down and it comes down with such force that the metal is going to bend 
and uh, you'll see you next. Well, yeah, I mean, just a snap of the fingers and you're done. Boom. Pretty straightforward. Yeah,